Mark, yes indeed, I am out here with the medicinal chef Dale Pinnock and Dale is going to talk about foods to fix whatever ails you but today we're going to focus on skin specifically and on getting clear skin, the kind of skin that everyone craves and Dale, welcome first of all to Ireland AM. Thank you, thanks for having me. This is a topic very dear to your heart because you it suffered is. with acne yourself very badly. Yes, yeah, from a young age as well so it's uh, quite a crusade for me. And this, and that was actually what prompted you to begin this whole journey into healthy eating it and how is, food yeah. can help you. Yeah, I mean, I had every conceivable lotion and potion you can imagine. Nothing really made a difference. The only thing that really helped sorting my diet and lifestyle out. Wow, okay. And now you're an expert in this area. <laughs> so we're going to talk about, because I've suffered, <laughs> my viewers and I've suffered with acne for years. Mm. This will be of huge interest, because we were talking about adult acne there in the break. Huge issue now, not just Absolutely. for teenagers, and more so in women as well, you were saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's links now between um, very high glycemic diets causing it, because you get insulin spikes, actually causes the ovaries to produce more androgens. So, the so the chocolate bar isn't helping you? No. Okay, no. these are foods that are going to yes. help us. Tell us what we need to know, Dale. Right. What's down here? First important group of nutrients are the okay. fat-soluble antioxidants. Okay. okay. These are a type of antioxidant that can actually move out into the skin and protect things like collagen and elastin from damage and also reduce inflammation. They will generally be very bright orange, yellow or red in colour. Okay. So butternut squash, red peppers, yellow peppers, also a lot in spinach. Good, I love spinach, so really, that's good really news. Important. Absolutely got a bit of an anti-inflammatory effect as well. Okay, so that'll reduce inflammation mm -hmm. and collagen, that's what keeps us looking young essentially. Yes, absolutely, okay. so it helps to retain plumpness in the skin. Okay, now moving along, I was interested in this, sulphur. Yes, yeah, all of the minerals, the minerals yeah. are often overlooked when it comes to skin health. Sulphur's a really important one to actually maintain the structure and structural integrity of collagen, so it makes the skin much more tougher and much more resilient to damage. Zinc is a really important one for acne helps to fight infection but also regulate hormone production as well. So things like leeks and eggs really, really rich in sulphur, nuts, seeds very, very high in zinc, as are shellfish as well. Can I ask you a question? I mean, you mentioned zinc. Anybody who's ever had any, any acne problems would have been told to take a zinc supplement. Yes. How does that compare and contrast <coughs> with eating the sort of foods that would provide you with good amounts of zinc? For me, it's always food first. Supplements, absolutely, they've got a place when they're used properly with the right guidance, but food first. I mean, it's more enjoyable yeah. to, you know, have a nice meal. And it's probably better quality of zinc and maybe more absorbable by your body? Sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes. yeah absolutely. So, so start with the food, but then if you feel you need more, you know, talk to a, a practitioner and get the right guidance. But there's no point taking a zinc supplement and eating cakes and biscuits and no, pizzas. completely it, counterproductive. That's what I mean, yeah. Completely counterproductive, absolutely, Okay, let's absolutely. move on. Vitamin E, this is kind of Vitamin e, a yeah. magic I mean, cure-all for skin. Well, <laughs> so we're led to believe, so we're led to believe. Again, this would kind of come into the fat-soluble antioxidant um, category. It actually helps to protect the skin cells from damage. Okay. So it actually protects the fats that make up the skin cells from damage. So again, a bit of an anti-aging action as well. So we've heard of free radicals, the other things that make us age. Yes. Is, is it going to protect against those? Yes, but okay. a, a specific type that will actually attack the outer membrane of the, of the skin cell. Okay. So essential fatty acids, really, really important one. Okay, omega-3. These have a very, very powerful anti-inflammatory activity. So if you think about skin issues like acne, eczema, psoriasis, where you've got that angry, active redness, that's inflammation. So anything that you can do to tone that inflammation down is actually going to reduce the severity of that lesion. Omega-3, absolutely top of the tree for that. So avocados, nuts and seeds, oily fish, all really, really important. And so how much do you need to be consuming to make a big difference? Like, is half an avocado a day going to make a difference to you? I mean, do you have to be having huge amounts of these foods? I think obviously everyone's different, and you know, nothing is like a complete cure all. Of like, course. you just have one yeah. meal and all of a sudden it goes. Yeah. It's just focusing on the kind of ingredients that are really going to help you to maintain it in the long term. Okay. So it is variable, it's not okay. necessarily prescriptive. Okay. Vitamin C, a really important one, again, for helping to fight infection. So things like acne can be really, really important. And again, a bit of an anti-aging activity as well, because it's a really important nutrient for the production of collagen. Okay, yeah, it actually helps make collagen, does, which is what absolutely. we want to do. Yes, okay. yes, absolutely. Now, this is, uh, this is the healthiest table of foods I've seen, but also equally enjoyable to eat. And you've got, obviously you've got fantastic recipes in the mm -hmm. book, I must say. Absolutely, that's what it's about. It's about making it enjoyable because so, yeah. many, so many people think that healthy food is like you know beards and sandals and lettuce. You know, it's not about that. So <laughs> it can be really indulgent. It can be really decadent. That's the key. You know, enjoy what you're eating. Beards and sandals, <laughs> optional. Okay. Absolutely. So <laughs> the last group of nutrients, the B vitamins. Okay. okay, so asparagus and broccoli, bananas, does whole grains. Does that boost our immune system B? Is well, that what that does? The B vitamins are involved in so many different functions within the skin, actually um, regulating the circulation to the outer layers of the skin, so really good for regulating skin tone. Also regulating sebum production, you know, toning oil production out. 
Um, also reducing inflammation. Okay, so, so really, everything really here important. reducing inflammation and all leading to overall improved skin health. Yes. Now we did, we asked um, earlier on on Facebook if people wanted Dale to give them advice and we were inundated with questions. So we chose three that represented the bulk of questions. Mm -hmm. The first one is um, for people with psoriasis, mm -hmm. an awful lot of people in Ireland suffering with psoriasis, mm -hmm. the best foods to help with psoriasis. Best foods there, um, really, really focus on omega-3 because when the psoriasis first flares up, you get that sort of irritated redness and itching before it actually starts to scale that's inflammation so loads and loads of omega-3 oily fish nuts and seeds will actually help to control some of that inflammation a little bit there's been some interesting research done recently using vitamin d creams oh interesting. actual vitamin d preparation uh, so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's something you can get from a health food store, perhaps. Okay, absolutely. Now, that we've done acne already. You've kind of mm -hmm. covered that. Yep. Very, very quickly, um, skin dry patches. So the B vitamins actually helps to retain moisture in the skin. And again, the essential fatty acids, the omega-3, the omega-6, get as many of those foods in. Now, Dad, you're not possible. suggesting we do this and ignore what our GP is advising us. Absolutely this is, this not. This is not to in do both in conjunction. Yeah, give yeah, yourself absolutely. the best chance. Yeah, this is the thing that you can actually do for yourself, whatever other kind of treatment avenue you follow. Now, it's the Root Health Expo in the RDS. You're going to be there all weekend, so you can will, pop, people can pop along yep. and speak to you and ask you questions themselves. Yeah, on the Saturday I'm doing a cookery demo, and then, yeah, I'll be about afterwards to, to have a chat. But, uh, great advice, and great coming from you, because you've been there, done that, had acne, and yeah. cured yourself by eating well. Absolutely. Del, pleasure. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We're going to go back into studio right now.